Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Michael B. I hope you are doing great today. If you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and or leave a comment. And while we are at it, smack that like button and the notification bell too. I will surely bring you more videos on simulation, survival and strategy games every week. If you've been here before, welcome back. Hello and welcome to the second last episode here on Richie Will. Second last episode, yes, because there's still one episode to go for the final factories. Now over here I have placed some of the mods, some of the vehicles that I'm gonna use, but we're gonna wait a little with that because we're heading down to the farm right now. To our main site, main farm down here. And what is this episode going to be all about? Well, it's going to be all about what I call LIM mods, life improvement mods, here for Ritual or large scale farming. With me here, I got 100 and whoa, 133 mods. So eight of the mods is directly taken from the Trello board, the Ritual board, as I call it. And uh, 10 of the mods I'm using is just pure add-ons, as you can see up in the uh, uh, left-hand corner, there's the glands mod, and in the right-hand corner there's uh, some, uh, I think it's called smart hut shade, a shade hut that uh, enhances the overview. And I got some follow me, I got some GPS on, and uh, all some props, and uh, some other cool stuff here, like Danish flag, of course, that I fiddle a little around with. But here we have put up quite a few uh, buildings, and that's I think I got 23 mods, around 23 mods uh, of placeables, sheds, and uh, we got some of the warehouses put up down here. There was one warehouse I could not put up because I was a little too uh, generous with the, uh, with the spacing around. So uh, I need to realign it or maybe a good advice for you to uh, if you want to have all the, the storage, all the warehouse down here, then you might to take that into consideration. Uh, right here I got silos for all the good stuff. Uh, it costs money, it's not free, but it's just uh, just a place to get you going if you really need something. For example, if you're running with seasons and you don't have grass, or hay or straw, you can just go down here and, uh, and get some of that. And seeds as well. We got the animal silos, we got the cold storage, we got the warehouse 1 and 2, there's even the quarry silo here, and the big farm silo. So what happened to warehouse number 3? Well, I Ah, it's uh, it's gonna be somewhere around here. <laughs> and if we continue here, we got some vehicle sheds, and we got some washing place, and another washing place, and a third washing place, and a big big storage here with I think there is a work workshop inside. Not sure. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, we got one in the other, other end up here, so we can just pretend. Uh, oh yeah, talking about workshops, I have the workshop tapper as well. So, the rest of the 20 mods that I have been using here on Ritual, that will be the vehicles that we can go up and take a look. But uh, you can please enjoy a little time lapse here of how I built this, this farm up. And I'll see you momentarily down at the shop again.
Right, down here at the shop. I have uh, tried to, to set up the, uh, the different kind of vehicles uh, and equipment that I've been using. And uh, this is going to be a little crossover because all of this is going directly to Pleasant Valley. I'm going to continue a time lapse on Pleasant Valley instead. And uh, all the good experiences that I got from this map is going directly to Pleasant Valley. So all the mods I've been using, I will uh, leave a link for the mod sites where I found them in the description. And also the names of the different mods. So if you're having an issue with finding some of the mods you would like, then please drop me a, a comment in the comment section and uh, we'll find a solution. So, uh, let's turn this off and uh, go over here to start up with the what I call the uh, field uh, work thingy. At least, uh, whoa. Jump up. Thank you. We got some cool harvesters here. One of the harvesters is by Iconic. And one of this one is uh, the Ideal Limited Edition. And uh, we can go in here to take a quick look for the harvesters. This one, Ideal Limited Edition. And I quite like that because uh, you can change around with the capacity and takes up to 570 uh, 5,000 liters and you can change it in in the color you like look at this goes up to engine setup of 90 plus that's 1,500 horsepower so that lets you do it and matching header as well here oops there we go 45 footer uh, draper grain cutter and of course also a corn header that w you can put on the front like this so and that's 12 meters and here comes the little tricky part that I've been playing around with because I want to show you something so we got this cool header it looks a little like that but it's not I'm gonna do something like this see if I can uh, hit the correct one Hold it up. Boom. There we go. That should do the corn. And that should do the trick. That's 36 meters. And uh, that was not part of the deal. Well, that's where Iconic comes in. This one. The XL corn header. Ah, okay. 30.6 meters. I think it was the grain header from Iconic that was 36 meters. Yeah, it was. So I just. That's the black one you can see there in the background. And um, we can try to jump out and span that. So these two are excellent for taking on jobs here. Yep, there we go. No collisions, so only on the one in the middle. So you don't have to worry about knocking down trees or getting stuck. So here we got the triple header uh, multi-fruit harvester. And uh, most of you are familiar with this bad boy, but uh, this is the header that uh, really wants to go forward in the world. What I've put on here is uh, the one for peanut, peanuts. And if we go into here the section, it got a category of its own, multifruit. That's a Tiradas, and it can take all these kind of multifruits. Uh, in the tool section, you'll find it here. So we got beets and we got poplars and cotton and we got lettuce, cabbage, potatoes, sugar beet, carrots, beetroot, onions, red cabbage and peanuts. I think uh, red cabbage needs to be grown in a greenhouse so you can't harvest that here on this map. Uh, but this harvest has been taken from another multifruit map so but you'll, uh, you'll figure that out soon enough. And same goes as lettuce and cabbage I think. But it's perfect for peanuts and some root crops. So just remember, if one thing doesn't work, then just try the next one. Or ask me in the comment section, and I'll surely guide you the right direction. Right. Next up, we have a little setup here with uh, the Bredale for fertilizer and the Bredale for uh, uh, lime. 
I think. Well, they're both white, so lime, and this one is fertilizer. Yeah, the granite she is a little showing a little more, and have this uh, truck here. My God, it's stuttering. Twenty-one frames. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, I asked for it, didn't I? Um, pretty cool setup here. And this is the Ford Caterpillar with a little uh, green cart on the back. And this green cart can hold 45,000. I just put in some rye. I mean, might say 45,000, that's not much. Oh, but here comes the deal. I got a little mod that's called Easy Cheat. And um, it's kind of a life improvement. Um, you can. If you would like, go up to a silo and fill it completely. Well, that's two months of cheating, I think. You can also go out and find a trailer that can hold 100,000 or 200,000, even 1 million capacity. But I like this because it's really maneuverable. And if you're going around from factory to factory and just need short deliveries, then you don't want to mess around with a big trailer and big truck and everything. Uh, I like this more. So you can I think it's the control J, no, so it's Alt. Alt J, yeah, you can change the capacity. Don't know if it's if it uh, shows if you can see it, but uh, if you every time you click Alt J, increases the capacity three times, four times, up to ten times. So this little truck here can now hold four hundred and fifty thousand of units, whatever you put in it, and I think that's pretty pretty awesome. And you can just hit it one more time; it goes back to normal pretty easy and this one well here we got the the sewing machine it's the John Deere D what's it called DB120 and that will get you to plant all the good stuff it's yeah, that's one of the ones that is on the board the Trello board Trello board <laughs> the Richville board and this cool plow here the Bretner Swifter Plow by Stevie, and it does an excellent job. You can just race up and down your field using this one. It's pretty awesome. Uh, not much to it, so there you go. That would be uh, my preferred mods to do some field work. And next up, uh, that'll be running around with your factories. And we got the animal trailer here. It's a little beefed up and going in here on the animals where do we find that the animal transport all the way down here uh, it's a little silver star xxl by mf mudding uh, you can see it holds pretty many sheep uh, 500 sheep 500 pigs 250 cows 25 horses so that'll help you on the transport if that's the thing you like to do or even bringing the animals to the slaughter house here we got a little tanker the ritual tanker just to find on the ritual board and also here the the trailer I just filled up with cherries that holds what is it one million yep that's pretty awesome and finally here we got the flatbed auto load nope still the tank are we going to the other side then be like that the lizard flat deck and well most of you know you can change the settings for pallets and uh, long pallets gold boxes recycle bins area pallet mission pallets square bales cotton modules even designed for this map perfect so that will get you going back and forth for the factories with the uh, products and and the goodies over here we also need a little woodwork and first up I got this Pones Scorpion it's a modded one but there's not been changed that much of it with it uh, compared to the one in game so if we go in here to forest machinery we got the Pones Scorpion King here 286 20 miles per hour Yep, cut down trees and length of what is it max eight meters I think it is ten meters a little mudded one that I got is uh, the one here by G J G S G 
Team's Game Streams. And they've been somewhat the same specs, uh, but you can change the colors. We got the same truck set up here with the, the Ford 9000. And uh, in here we got some wood chips. And we do the same trick by increasing the uh, amount. This is pretty maneuverable also in the forest. And this one, the Class Syrian 5000. This is from the Class DLC. You can use any tractor with the uh, Brooks all in one. And uh, why I put it on here? Well, well, this I need to show you. Because if you put it on the front, you can't uh, raise or lower it. But I like to drive around with this. It's very versatile. It's got all steering. And it's uh, powerful enough to run the Brooks. And even lower it and raise it. And the pretty cool part about this class is control left control and B yeah, it just swings around and you can change the, the driving direction and now you can see what you're doing I get the pipe directly in the head but uh, that's that's okay and then you're actually pretty close to you can see what you're doing like this and even in cap it's a perfect view if you would like that yeah, you're lagging a little. Always does that when you go into the cap. That was the wood setup. Pretty nice. For doing the mow mowing. Well, this should do. This is by Winston and just made his mod public and uh, going to here. There's a forager and some headers. Here we go with all the good stuff. Here's the mower, the big M500, and you can put this on with a rake. And it's got a pretty cool connection, extended, so uh, you won't uh, well, bend and twist and turn that much. Um, and let's go take this for a spin, because I like to call this the Enterprise from Star Trek Generations. Gonna extend this one. Look at this. That's some big wings. That's a pretty, uh, pretty large cut width. And you can just start mowing away. You see the rig is uh, is wider than the uh, the mower, so you get everything. At least if you're doing some control turns. Right there we go. This one. What is this? Well, this is the cotton harvester. Some would know, but on this particular map, it can also do lavender. Whoops. Well, you're supposed to jump from one to the other. Okay. Lavender, cotton, and tobacco. I haven't had the pleasure of doing this on this map yet. Uh, I think we'll try it sometime. But there you go. And you can get lavender and cotton out as bales as you will with cotton. Is that all right? You will get bales from lavender and tobacco as you get with cotton. I think that was right, yeah. And uh, you can load it on the flatbed as well. And coal goes in the trailer. And you can get coal with either the rubber mouse from Stevie. Uh, and that one takes all the good stuff in here. Uh, I think you'll find it on the beat technology if you install it. There we go. The mouse 5 by Stevie. Takes the coal, sand, uh, silt, rock salt, gravel, I think it is, stone and ore. But what's even better is this pretty cool millet thingy. That will do the job. That's Im amazing. That is also to find on the board. And I just took a little, uh, you know, when you're driving around in the mines, you need to have at least some control. So I've got duels on and a very heavy 
uh, it's not the front weight, but this is the pack weight, weight on. So that was uh, actually my preferred mods. I have been using most frequently here on uh, the time lapse series, and uh, I will definitely use, uh, if not all, then at least a good part of uh, the mods on Pleasant Valley. So uh, that'll be pretty awesome. And yeah, the last one is this. Quite some time since I fell in love with this RAM. Um, I just very fond of it. I'm gonna chuk 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 chuk. There comes the train. Yep. So I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, remember, if you got questions for some of the mods, then please leave me a comment and uh, let's see what we can find out. And oh yeah, I forgot this one. The Moodle Dill is part of the class pack. I just have to have it. As I said before, it's so darn ugly that I just need it. And uh, yeah, we got this uh, bucket. That's one of the reasons why. It's the final thing I'm going to show you. It's uh, mm, wheel orders and buckets from Iconic as well. Excel bucket. It takes 25,000 liters. Uh, I know Iconic have made some that takes even more, but I think that 25,000 was was sufficient because this is uh, only going to do the job down at the animals and scoop up the leftovers and when they spill or just you know just drive around and uh, have a good time and with those words we have come to the end of this episode i thank you very much for watching and as always feedback and comments are much appreciated hit that like button and please subscribe if you have not done so already if you would like to invite your friends over to watch as well that would be delightful until next time, keep safe, take care, and stay cool. Bye!